Coinbase has 68 million users and is supported in over 100 countries, making it one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchange platforms in the world. And today, in this video, we're going to teach you how to set it up and how to start trading on Coinbase so that you can buy those lovely NFTs. You can buy crypto, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. I'm Stanley Mayton. And I'm Yossi Hassan. Welcome to Goats in the Metaverse. Our goal is simple. We want to help you learn about the wonderful world of NFTs, make some money, and have some fun along the way. But before we get into that, let's talk about our lovely competition, The Goat Vault. And if this is the first time that you are watching, The Goat Vault is our way of giving back to our community, to our subscribers. We are giving away up to, right now, $80,000 worth of NFTs in a vault that we have locked away. We have collected a number of NFTs and continue to do so. And when we reach 5,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving the biggest giveaway in nfts to our loyal fan base so click that subscribe button share the show and get us to that huge community so that you can win huge out of the gold vault that's once you've logged into your coinbase account you will see the assets that you own uh, generally that will be at zero you're going to need to top up your account with some money 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 some fiat currency the things we don't really like but you still need it a little bit in this traditional world to get into your Coinbase account. Once you've deposited some funds, you will then be able to trade some assets. So what you see here is you've got Bitcoin, Solana, Decentraland, Axie Infinity, Ethereum, USDC, US dollar. Those are the different assets that Coinbase allows you to trade. And where the majority of NFTs happen today is in the world of Ethereum. So you'll click on trade. Uh, and within the trade, world of Coinbase, you'll start to be able to see what are those currencies trading at and which ones can you buy. Uh, as we can see here, Bitcoin is down 3.7%, Ethereum down 5.97%. Good opportunity to get a discount on some Ethereum. Uh, Not financial advice. Asset, <laughs> you look at the asset that you are wanting to buy. We're here for some Ethereum and it's pretty simple. You click the buy button. Uh, it will give you a dialogue on uh, how much Ethereum you want to buy. And now there's one thing to note if you're buying Ethereum this way on Coinbase. Coinbase is setting the spot price that you are buying at. Uh, so you may not be buying at the best price that you can get Ethereum at because Coinbase is doing that conversion for you. And from their financials that we've seen, they're making a pretty margin on that purchase. Uh, but if you want to be quick and easy, that is the quickest and easiest way to buy uh, some Ethereum off your Coinbase account without having to think through what is a stop loss or a put order or any of the technical terms in buying Ethereum uh, for your wallet. Once you've gone ahead and made that purchase, you've put in, let's say, $500 and clicked the buy button, uh, Coinbase will automatically deduct your account and get you some $500 worth of Ethereum. It's really that easy to buy Ethereum on Coinbase. Go ahead, Stan. And one thing you got to keep in mind is when you are depositing money into Coinbase, there's a few different ways of doing it. You could pay with your, with your bank, as you can see a bank's collected here. You could also send a wire transfer and you could ad add additional payment methods. Uh, Coinbase is infamous for taking their time in depositing that money into your bank account. Uh, I'm sorry, into your Coinbase account. It won't actually clear until it clears their banking system. Uh, one of the fastest ways to actually deposit money, especially if you're doing large sums, is to send a wire. Usually those wires are processed same day, and that money is going to be in your account same day. Um, why is this important? If you are going to buy Ethereum, as an example, and you're going to send over to connect your bank account and you're going to buy Ethereum, now that Ethereum is going to be bought, but you're not going to be actually be able to trade that Ethereum into MetaMask. You're not going to be able to move that Ethereum into your MetaMask account and you're not going to be able to go buy your NFT. So a lot of NFT traders... Ha, um, like to wire transfer their money in. 
So this way they could automatically, as soon as that money hits your Coinbase account, you're able to utilize it however you want to see fit. Uh, you send it over to your MetaMask wallet, and then you could go ahead and buy your NFT. And what we're seeing here, once you've done that and the money has reflected, we're saying we want to buy $500 worth of Ethereum. You'll see at the bottom, we'll see it says ETH balance 0.0028. That is the uh, amount of ETH that we would be buying if we were to buy $500. What's important to know is that you don't need to buy one ETH. Ethereum, Bitcoin, all these cryptocurrencies are divisible into fractions into what we would know as cents. So you can buy a fraction of an Ethereum. You can buy $500 worth of Ethereum, even though the price may be $2,000 or $3,000 or $5,000. So you don't have to buy one Ethereum or one Bitcoin in order to own Ethereum or Bitcoin. Um, also, you could also set up your recurring buys. So if you wanted to set up an account where you wanted to buy, let's say, $50 or $100 worth of Ethereum or Bitcoin or, or different crypto, you could actually set it up where they'll take that money out of your bank account on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, however you want to set it up, and automatically it will take that out of your bank account. Uh, this might be a good way, if you believe in crypto long term, for you to continue to invest into crypto and cost price average out your, your buying, right? So today you bought it and Ethereum's at $2,500. Tomorrow, it might next week, it might be at $2,700. Then two weeks from now, it might be at $2,200. So you're, if you believe it in the long term and you believe that Ethereum will go over $10,000 as an example, um, you're going to continue to buy. Uh, but that's, that, that's only probably worth it if you believe in it long term and you and you want to invest into it as a long term basis. Now that you've got some Ethereum and we've shown you how you can do that, you want to send that Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet. We showed you how to set up and install a MetaMask wallet in one of our previous episodes. So if you haven't watched that show, I recommend you check that out. Uh, to do that, you click on the send and receive button, you put in the amount that you want to send and the currency that you are sending. So you see there, it says pay with Bitcoin. We're going to change that to pay with Ethereum and put in the uh, amount that we are sending to our wallet. Uh, you will see that there is a option to change from USD to ETH depending on how you want to send it. So you want to know we want to send the 0.0004 ETH to our wallet, you take the wallet address that you have got from your MetaMask, you paste it in over here, that is our wallet address, Ethereum will always be 0x or 0x, uh, and you know that you have a legitimate Ethereum address, remember to check the address before sending, once you click that send button, there is no way to get that money back, so you need to make sure that you are putting the correct Ethereum address, we're sending $10 to that address, You've put it in, it is now locked in, and we press the send now button, and we will see that that transaction will then start to go and we'll be leaving the Coinbase account. As you could see, there's a network fee that's associated every time you send from Coinbase to MetaMask. Um, that is something that you're going to get used to if you're going to be sending money from, from Coinbase to MetaMask. And that's an important thing to note. The network fee is dependent on how heavy the transactions are on the Ethereum network. So at different times of days, the amount could be higher or lower. So you may want a time when you send your money across so that you're not doing it at a time when it is extremely expensive to do so, or make sure that you're sending enough money that it actually justifies the fees that are going to you're going to incur for sending that money. So sending $10 may be good for a test, but after that, you're chewing up a lot of fees in order to send that $10. You may want to send a bigger amount, especially if you're thinking about buying some of those lovely NFTs. And that is how simple it is to buy some Ethereum using Coinbase, send it to your MetaMask wallet, and once it's there, you're now ready to start buying some NFTs. Now that you have your money in your MetaMask wallet, and if you don't know what a MetaMask wallet is, make sure you check out our show about 
what is a MetaMask wallet and how to use it. We are on a mission to educate you and make some money and have fun in the process. Click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.